Alpha 2, Sierra Delta. This is Kilo Charlie 2, Sierra Golf Victor. Kilo Charlie 2, Sierra Golf Victor, standing by. Kilo Charlie 2, Sierra Golf Victor. Yeah, big difference. I finally got the antenna pointed. You had 5-9, uh, beautiful signal over here. Over. Oh, yeah, I got you good now. Before, you were a little above the noise, but uh, you're in there now for sure. Solid 5-9. Here in the Fox Mike 29, Papa November. Roger, Roger, Joe. Beautiful signal from your beam. I'm using an FT891 with 100 watts. Simple um, stress mox on. It's a very simple antenna set up in 10 minutes with a fiberglass pole about 15 feet off the back of the car. Over. Okay, very nice, very nice. So is this a beam or a, a squalo or what is it? It is. A, it's called the PAR Stress Moxon. It's really a small two-element beam is what it is, Joe. Okay, very good. Well, seems... Sure, because you got a very strong, very strong copy here. Over. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, we're running uh, we're right on a 991A like you, and uh, just got it into an end so... All right, very good. I appreciate the uh, contact here. I got you in the log, Kilo Delta 4, Radio Alpha Uniform with Alpha Alpha 2, Sugar Delta, and I'll go 73. 73, sir. Alpha, I'm 384, are you? Thank you. Yeah, only 84 inches wide right there. Uh, real good for uh, a little bit of that time. I used to go down the street and not catch too many trees. <laughs> so, enjoy, Scott. And uh, have a great day there. You're 5-9 you, uh, plus here. You probably don't even have it turned exactly on me even. So uh, you're, you're doing great. AA2SD, mobile W2SJ. Yeah, W2SJ. Thank you, Bob. Yeah, this is the first time I'm using a stress Moxon. I have it on a fiberglass pole. I was able to get it set up in less than 10 minutes, so like a five-minute setup. So it'll be a, a quick setup for me. I'm, I'm actually testing for the June contest already over. No doubt about it, and uh, uh, you'll be in uh, good locations, uh, I'm sure, uh, as you know, uh, a whole bunch of them now. <laughs> so uh, you should uh, should work out well with it. So enjoy. Have fun. Uh, location there. Thank you very much. This is Alpha Alpha 2. I'll be clear with the Whiskey Alpha 3 Sierra uh, Radio Uniform. Thank you for the contact. Over. Roger, Roger. Uh, WA3S, are you clear? Uh, KR1ST, I lost you for one second at QRM. Can you come back one more time? Over. Roger, Roger. I have a little QRM. You, well, you know what happened? I'm, I'm jumping in and out of the car to move the antenna, and I bumped it. So I just locked it. I'm back on frequency now. Over. Yeah, that sounds a little bit more like your voice. All right, very good, Dennis. W3IMA, Alpha Alpha 2 SD uh, antenna test. Appreciate you uh, uh, making a contact. I got you in the log and confirmed, and I always uh, enjoy talking with you, Dennis. Thank you. Okay, well, take care and good luck with your test there. Uh, AA2SD, W3IMA. AA2SD, I'll be clear with W3IM. W3IMA, thank you. Yeah, WA3DRZ. I got you locked on. You're 5.9 plus. Great copy here. Um, and I did get you locked in. So I'm using, yeah, it's the first time I'm using a stress mox on. I usually use a three or four element beam. So I'm actually doing a, what I'm setting, calling is a quick setup. So when I go row from location to location. So um, believe it or not, I'm testing pre June. Over. I'm testing for ahead uh, for the June contest. I'm starting to test now to get equipment ready for the next contest. Okay, very good. Well, you never should be too prepared. <laughs> uh, yeah, I haven't got, I'm waiting for warmer weather to see stuff here. Uh, i got to work on some more of the microwave stuff and uh, uh, get that gig. 
Yeah, that must be the hot spot uh, pointed towards South Jersey, KF2Z, over. Yeah, roger, roger. You're in like, uh, in like, in, in the socket for sure, man. In like Flint, uh, no doubt about it. Okay, uh, uh, I, I just was, I was, by the way, I was curious if you got a minute. Did you work, Dennis? Uh, was it uh, K3AM, uh, K3IMI? Oh, yeah, I know, Dennis. I worked him. He had a good signal on his wire. No problem at all, over. Roger that, roger that. Yeah, I was just curious if he was, when he was going to check in there, because he's in that, uh, he's in that locality. Okay, that's, uh, that's, that's great, Scott. You've got a full uh, load of uh, workers there. I hope it continues to uh, be fruitful and, uh, and, uh, and uh, drive on. Hi, this is Scott. Just finished an antenna test with a stress moxin at 446 feet at the Ebright Azimuth in Delaware. That's the highest location in Delaware. There's actually an old microwave tower here, and I'm using a very simple uh, stress moxon antenna. Sets up very quickly from PAR Electronics. Made several contacts, made some contacts into Maryland and up into the Poconos. So it worked out well. Uh, sets up in 10 minutes. I'll give you a quick uh, view of the antenna setup. This is the antenna setup. It's on a trailer hitch. Now this is a uh, spider beam, which is a fiberglass pole. You really shouldn't put antennas on this, but it's super light. And you can see the antenna up there. Uh, that's it. No rotor. Uh, you got to keep things very light. Sets up in less than 10 minutes. Great location here. The elevation is 440 feet. It's an old microwave tower. Um, they used to use that as a microwave relay. Um, I don't think they're using it for that anymore. Uh, but this is a good location from an elevation standpoint. Again, there's the spider green pole. And uh, that's the PAR uh, stress moxon, which has worked very well. Now here is the actual marker on the street of the exact spot of the Ebright azimuth on the street, which marks the highest spot right there.